Good morning and welcome back to Brazen Brits. I swallowed wrong. <laughs> Good morning and welcome back to Brazen Brits. My name is Lawrence. And I'm Natalie. And today we're doing another episode of our collaboration. I can't talk this morning, it's way too early and it's because as part of the collaboration and can I just welcome Ken and Pam, our sixth channel yes. in our collaboration group thank you for joining um, but today we're up early because it's travel day yes. so as we do it we're going to show you all the preps that we do for travel day it really makes me wonder All right, before we get started on the actual activities, a few things that we do before. Now, the first thing from my point of view, um, I uh, make sure that the gray tank is as full as possible so that when I empty the black tank, it, I can wash everything through. I also try and make sure that the black tank is as full of much water as possible <laughs> because that helps with the flow. There is a bee or a wasp flying around <laughs> us. Uh, and Natalie does a whole bunch of stuff as well that I should be aware of. Well, no, you always ask what the checkout time is so you I can do. see how late you can stay in bed for. So I always check the checkout time, check the check-in time from the next place. And if there's anything we need to know, like there's a bridge or anything like that, any kind of information, which is yeah. kind of a like, because sometimes I do that on the way as well. You'll True. be like, hey. We try and do it before though. The only other thing that we do before is I like to fill up with diesel yes. the day before so that we don't have to worry about truck stop prices. Yes. This is typically what Opie does when we're getting everything ready to go. He likes to sit there very, very proud and watch us be his slaves and tidy his crap up for him. Typically my first job, um, whilst Lawrence is usually in bed, uh, is I'm going to pack away the dog fence. Well, the first thing I like to do in the morning after I've done my manly things is to get a coffee and come out and empty the black tank. I say the first thing I like to, I don't like doing this at all, but it's a necessity, so that's what I do. I get up, have a shower. And, and whilst he's doing that, I take the dogs for a walk. Once I'm happy that the black tank is empty, I will put the black tank flush on and make sure that it all flushes everything out. Um, you can normally tell because the water starts to run clear. Uh, once that is done, I will empty the gray tanks. We have two on our rig, so we have one for our front shower and bathroom, and then we have one in the middle for our kitchen sink. Uh, this just basically washes everything through the hose, so the hose isn't quite as nasty when you untake it off. Untake it off take it off okay once the gray tanks are empty the black tank is flushed out I close all the valves and I will fill up two things one is our uh, black tank up to about a fifth full um, and then I'll throw some mats RV I need that hold on and the mats RV liquefied uh, we've been very happy with this we've been using this for uh, probably eight months now no I don't know how this works do I how do I fill this side up why are you asking me to do this stuff? I don't get it. Um, so very happy with that. We'll put that in the toilet so that when we're driving around that can slosh around a bit. The other thing that I'll do is I'll typically put some water in our fresh tank um, if I haven't already, just in case of emergencies or if anything happens, we actually have some water that we can use for, you know, whatever reason you might need. For us, typically anything behind this, i.e. the bunkhouse or office, is my problem. Um, it's a bit of a mess, but you know what it's like. Anyway, so there's a few things that I do in here for travel day. Uh, this is a new desk and a new mount. So one thing that I do is I put the dog beds here just in case the monitor falls down. I have bolted the desk to the floor, so the chances of that moving are very slim, but I do worry about the monitor. So I put the beds up there and then I get everything out of the way of here so that this slide can come in. So all of these boxes and things here I will ram under the desk. Whilst he's doing that, I typically pack up the inside, get all the coffee machines over here, finish any last washing up. Um, what else would do? Just clear the sides of all the stuff, really. So, get that done. My responsibility is to make sure that the appliances are as they should be. So, a couple of examples of this. One is, uh, if we're having a long travel day, I'm gonna turn our inverters off. I don't want them pulling from the battery and powering things like the water heater and things like that. I'll also go through, make sure that the water heater is off which we do forget about. Uh, and if it's a long travel day, uh, and there's some arguments about this online, whether you should do this or not. If it's a long travel day, we will keep our propane on so that our fridge, which is uh, obviously a 120 or a propane, so our fridge will keep running. If it's a short travel day, I'll turn it off. There's no need to, uh, to have any risk there. From my point of view, I think that's done inside. 
Today we actually have leftover quesadilla from last night's dinner. So that will be our travel day food. So I'm gonna pack that up and put it in the cooler with some ice. And then we take the trash out. All right, we're doing the final checks on the inside and loading the dogs up into the car. Start putting in some slides. So last couple of things that we kind of share is that I'm putting the slides in, just making sure things like roof vents are closed. Um, I've put all the black tank hoses and everything away. Um, one thing, quick tip about that, is I just put it all in a big box and put it in the back of the truck. There's no messing about with those, having to get it into those storage things underneath. It all just goes in one box. That is the gross box. Never touch that without gloves. <laughs> I think we're done in here, right? Latches. You've cleared latches, the, the shower doors. latch. We always forget that. Or, should I say, we remember it and then go to the toilet and rip my fingernails off trying to That's close true. the door. <laughs> so we've got that slide in. So we typically bring in most of the slides apart from this first one before we put the dogs in the car. So make sure all the drawers are shut, things like that. Once the slides are in, I can go ahead and undo the extra. Once I've lazily uh, made Lawrence load the fence up for me because I couldn't be bothered, and the chair, and the easy shade. <laughs> what is next? To, to level things up? Because uh, we don't want to hitch up until they're up, right? Oh, the stabilizer. Yeah. Yes. Ah, good point. I had a good point. Lawrence is going to show me how to lift up the back stabilizers like I will ever do that in my life. <laughs> So for some reason the motor is dead on the back ones. It goes down, it just doesn't go up. So wasn't our fault, Grand Design. It wasn't our fault. It was brand new, recently replaced. Yes. Two hours later. Done. It's a pain. I'll fix it at some point. Next up, sway bars. Sway. You're the worst of this, Natalie. It's nowhere near. It's our first time for like months. Give me a break. I'm going to do a quick walk around and pull the chocks out. Okay, go forward. Whoa. So as part of the walk around, the other thing I do, I get my tire pressure tester and just uh, test the tire pressures just to make sure they're up. We put ours at 80 on the truck. We put the rear ones at 80 or 75 and the front wheels of the truck at 65. But all the trailer is really what I'm concerned about. And we set those to 80 with our fancy Viet. All right, to finish up, we just do a quick final walk around, make sure we haven't left anything at the uh, water spigot because I constantly leave those splitters that I use for the fresh water and black tank flush. Uh, and that's about it. So we're about to head out to our next place. Thank you for watching, we hope you enjoyed. Don't forget, this is part of a whole collaboration with six other channels. Uh, again, welcome to the Roadsmiths. Uh, looking forward to seeing your, your input. Um, very interested to see what this looks like for the fifth wheel guys. We've never had a fifth wheel, so uh, that was gonna be interesting to see. But anyway, if you like this video, hit like. Natalie loves it when you hit thanks. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you'd like to join and become a channel member and become a brassiere to support a couple of tits, go ahead and hit the, the join button. All right, I'm gonna put a video up here we think you will enjoy. Um, yeah, we will see you next collaboration or on Sunday at noon. Eastern. Tomorrow, I got it. You got it. Thanks, Natalie. Great job.